Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at how to make your internet faster in seconds. So everyone uses the internet every day. You're using the internet right now to watch this video. But one first world problem we all don't like is when our internet's slow. Well, here are some surefire tricks which will allow you to speed up your internet. These are all free and can be done in a matter of seconds. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have Can Trick. How could a can of soda help speed up your Wi-Fi? Well guys, you'd be surprised how much your empty can of Coca-Cola can speed up your internet. This is the only one on this list which doesn't require a computer or a phone to do. All you need to do is cut out the bottom of a soda can. Then vertically cut the can, making a concave. Then put it over your Wi-Fi router, almost like an antenna. If your router doesn't have an antenna, then you can do it around the router itself. So guys, how on earth can this boost your internet speeds? Well, the aluminum can actually reflects the signals. Think about it, your router emits a Wi-Fi signal 360 degrees, but it's likely facing a wall, meaning that some of that signal is wasted. Well guys, you can position the can to divert it in the direction you need. This gives you a super strong Wi-Fi signal. If you want it to look a bit more stylish, then you could even spray paint the can black or something to match your router. Just make sure you have your router positioned in a place so that the can blocks the direction you don't need any internet in. But guys, we'll talk about router positioning later on in this video. Next up is cash. So you've likely heard of internet cookies. But guys, the number one thing that slows down many people's internet browsers is their cache. One browser may run at a way lower speed on the same phone or computer. Well, that's likely due to your cache. If your phone is running slowly, you need to go into your browser settings. Then you need to go and click clear history and website data. It doesn't say it, but this actually clears your cache and your cookies. Your cache is basically all the websites and things you've looked at online. It saves them so it loads faster the next time you visit that website. But simply clearing your history does not clear this. And guys, if you've never cleared your cache, that means every image, video, and word has been stored so it runs faster the next time you look at it. But that all mounts up, so be sure to clear your cache. Next up is router location. Many people complain about slow internet speeds, but more often than not, it's something they're actually doing wrong. And one thing that many people get wrong is where to put their router. Did you know that 80% of families put their routers in their family rooms? But guys, did you know it's actually best to minimize the distance between your router and computer? That's right guys, if you have a shared family computer, then put the router as near to it as possible. Some people also put their routers in drawers and cupboards to keep them out of the way, but this is a terrible idea. This will majorly block the signal and slow you way down. You should actually ideally put your router on the top of a high shelf. And you should keep it far away from your neighbor's Wi-Fi routers and power cables. And you should also keep it far away from where your neighbor's Wi-Fi routers are. You should also keep it away from power cables, computer wires, cordless phones, microwaves, baby cameras, and lamps. These devices and wires can actually interfere with the Wi-Fi signal. Next up is network settings. Let's say you're out and about and want some internet. You may not have access to 2G, 3G, or 4G, but did you know your phone is likely not restricted to 2G, 3G, and 4G? Most countries actually have something called LTE. This stands for long-term evolution, and it's actually a different network you can get onto to browse the internet. Your phone may not automatically pick this up, so you may need to go into your mobile data settings to actually select this. But by doing this, you're able to get internet in areas you previously thought you couldn't. This could be really handy if you're somewhere unfamiliar and you can't get any internet. Next up is Ethernet. So this is great for anyone who uses a plugged-in computer in one place or a laptop in one place. You may think that Wi-Fi is more convenient, but did you know that Ethernet is actually much better? Ethernet is basically a wired connection, but most Wi-Fi routers will actually come with an Ethernet cable. If so, you should actually use this as it's way faster. Not only that, it's much more secure too. It will have less interference problems, meaning way less downtime. It also has lower latency and of course is much quicker. All you need to do is use an Ethernet cable and connect it from the Wi-Fi router to your computer. Of course, this is not convenient for cell phones, but you could always use Wi-Fi and Ethernet at the same time. You could plug an Ethernet cable into your Wi-Fi router and use it in your computer. And then when you're on your phone, you can just use the regular Wi-Fi. This will speed up your internet so much and it's far more secure too. That's something that's really important seeing as 80% of Wi-Fi routers are totally unsecure. Even if you have a password lock on your router, it can actually be hacked in 5 minutes on average by hackers. 
Next stop is Wi-Fi password. So, while having a Wi-Fi router password won't protect you from hackers, it will protect you from your average Joe. Do you know how many people are actually using your Wi-Fi network? If you don't have a password, you likely have no idea. And there's no telling how many people who simply walk past your house or your neighbors may be using your network. Let's say you live in an apartment. How many other people in your apartment use your Wi-Fi? Well guys, obviously the more people connected to your Wi-Fi, the slower it's gonna be. But guys, if you simply put a password lock on your router, then this will cut down the amount of people using it. This means only you and your family and those who you give a password to will be able to use it. This means you know exactly how many people will be using it and it will speed things up in no time. Just make sure you don't use an obvious thing like password or 123. Ideally your Wi-Fi router password should have numbers and letters and be something memorable to you. And finally on the list of ways to speed up your internet in seconds, we have updates. It may seem simple, but an update could actually be the difference between you having slow internet and fast internet. And when I say update, I mean update your web browser. Whether you use Safari, Firefox or Chrome, be sure to keep these updated all the time. You never know where there could be a bug slowing you down. These companies often update their browsers and many people do ignore the updates. But this could be slowing you down by up to 40%, so always be sure to update your browser to the newest model. So guys, that was 7 surefire ways to speed up your internet in no time. Let me know how well these worked if you tried them out. And guys, vote in the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most useful way to speed up your internet. I personally think the soda can trick is absolutely amazing. I personally think the soda can trick is absolutely amazing. If you guys want more amazing videos of tips, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.